Our students come from five islands. So the bulk of the students live on Salt Spring. The rest come by water taxi every day to come to school. You think isolation, you, know, you think separate, you think uh, lack of opportunity, but really uh, because of the school and our community and our island together, we formed so many wonderful opportunities, especially for the youth. You know, I've been on this island for 12 years, but you notice it right away. As soon as you move on to the island and live there for a little while, you figure out that it's really a passion-driven place. Mm -hmm. you, you don't get stuck on Salt Spring. It's difficult to live there. Or these Gulf Islands, it's a, it's a little bit more challenging, but then you notice that around you are all kinds of people driven by something, and they're driven by what they love to do. Information passes around the island really, really quickly, and so changes can be made with speed that's not normal. <laughs> you know, it's just it's ridiculous how quickly something will travel right across the school. Students are, are not as afraid to, ha to have an idea about change because that's, what's, that's what we live in constantly on our island. We have a, an obstacle, a problem, um, paper plates in the cafeteria, I don't like that, what can I do to change it? And so I think that it's very passion, passion driven. Reminded of, of John Abbott, and John and John has been oh, uh, a, 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 a part of, yeah. of your community. And he has a, 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 a quote um, that was important to us in our district, and, and that no, no school can rise above the expectations of its community. And, 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 and to me, as a, as a superintendent of schools, that really struck a note with, 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 with me and, and with our community. I guess the first thing I would say is that it's interesting that um, in, in the many communities that make up the Gulf Islands, um, there's quite a bit of pressure for positive change, which is different from what some communities experience. And so I think that is something that's a bit unique in that um, the expectations are very high, not just the standards. So some places, you might have heard this said, some people have high standards and low expectations. And in the Gulf Islands, they, both of those things are high. Like everybody's not gonna be the, this lucky to be where we are, but I think there's a way to sort of take what we've gotten from our community and, and almost formulate it like we it has to be structured like there needs to be a way to implement the ideas and the you know innovation that we have and, and that we've really developed. I think everything I do is so rewarding and the community is it's not different from the school the school is the community and I find that to say that is such a nice I feel so proud to say that.